Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Sa video lesson na ito ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang operations on rational algebraic expressions. Kung hindi mo pa napapanood yung simplifying rational algebraic expressions, i-click mo na lang dito sa ataas or hanapin mo na lang yung description below. Kasi yung simplifying rational algebraic expression ay prerequisite ng lesson natin ngayon. Ang gagawin natin dito, mag a tayo, subtract, multiply, at magdi-divide ng rational algebraic expressions. ba ang rational algebraic expression is the quotient of two algebraic expression. Okay? So, dito sa learning task number 1, add or subtract the following. Maalala nyo pa ba yung addition, subtraction, multiplication, at division ng fraction nung elementary kayo? So, i-apply natin yon dito sa rational algebraic expression. Madali lang naman itong number 1. So, meron tayo ditong 4 over 8 plus 5 over 8. Kapag magkapareho sila ng denominator, ang gagawin natin, copy the denominator, then add the numerator. So, ganun lang kasimple kapag magkapareho sila ng denominator. So, copy the denominator, then add the numerator. 4 plus 5 equals 9. Reminder, iniibahan ko yung mga given dito upang sa ganun ay subukan ninyong isolve yung nasa modules ninyo. Kung hindi na ma-reduce to lowest term, then this is now the final answer. Number 2, 6 over 8 minus 2 over 6. Dito naman, magkaiba sila ng denominator. So, anong gagawin natin? Find the LCD or yung least common denominator. Ano ang least common denominator ng 8 at 6? That is... 24. 24 divided by 8 equals 3 times 6 equals 18. Minus 24 divided by 6 equals 4 times 2 equals 8. So, 18 minus 8 is equal to 10 over 24. Then, reduce to lowest term, pwede natin i-divide by 2. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Then, 24 divided by 2 equals 12. The final answer is 5 over 12. Next, number 3, we have 4x plus 6x minus x plus 8. Ang gagawin natin dito, combine like terms. Yung mga magkakamukha or magkakapareho ng variable. So, 4x plus 6x equals 10x. Minus 1x equals 9x. So, the final answer is 9x. Then, i-add natin yung plus 8 since wala naman siyang kasama, i-add na lang natin siya. The final answer is 9x plus 8. Okay? Next, number 4, 5x squared minus 8x plus 3x minus 5. Alin dito ang pwede nating pagsamahin? Yung negative 8x at positive 3x. Negative 8x plus 3x, magkaiba sila ng sign, subtract, then copy the sign of the greater number. 5x squared, then negative 8x plus 3x equals negative 5x minus 5. Kung mapapansin ninyo, pwede nating i-divide lahat sa 5. So, this uh, final answer is x squared. Negative 5x divided by 5 is equal to negative x. And then, negative 5 divided by 5 equals negative 1. Okay? So, tingnan ninyo kung pwede pang isimplify yung Nakuha ninyong sagot. Now, let's proceed to learning task number 2. Perform the indicated operation. Number 1, find the sum of 4x over x minus 1 and x over x minus 1. Kung mapapansin ninyo dito, the same sila ng denominator. Same rule din sila ng addition and subtraction of fraction. So, kung the same sila ng denominator, just copy the denominator. Then, add the numerator. So, 4x plus x equals 5x. The final answer is 5x over x minus 1 since hindi naman na natin ito pwedeng isimplify. Okay? So, walang makakancel dyan. 
Number 2, find the difference when 3x minus 10 over x plus 6 is subtracted from 5x plus 1 over x plus 6. Subtracted from, ibig sabihin, mauna yung 5x plus 1 over x plus 6 minus 3x minus 10 over x plus 6. Magkapareho din sila ng denominator. So, just copy the denominator then subtract the numerator. Kopyahin yung denominator x plus 6 and then 5x plus 1 minus 3x minus 10. I-distribute natin yung operation dito, dito sa loob. So, magiging 5x plus 1, negative times 3x equals negative 3x, negative times negative 10 equals positive 10 over x plus 6. Combine like terms, ano yung mga magkakapareho ng variable? That is 5x and negative 3x. 5x minus 3x equals positive 2x. Then, 1 plus 10 equals plus positive 11. Then, kopyahin yung x plus 6. Pwede pa ba nating i-factor yung numerator? Hindi, kasi hindi naman natin pwedeng i-divide yung 2 sa 11. Pero kung pwede nyo pang i-factor, i-factor ninyo para ma-simplify yung sagot. Alright? Number 3, multiply a squared minus a minus 2 over 5a and 10a over a plus 1. So, dito naman sa multiplication, ang gagawin natin is to multiply the numerator and multiply the denominator. Pero bago natin i-multiply, pwede nating i-factor yung mga given. So, dito sa a squared minus a minus 2, ano yung factors niya? So, mag-isip kayo ng factor ni negative 2 na kapag in ninyo, magiging negative 1. Since negative at negative sila, so negative positive at dapat mas malaki yung negative number. Anong number yon? That is negative 2 and positive 1. So, ibig sabihin, ang factors natin is a minus 2 times a plus 1. Ito yon. Ano naman ang factor ni 10a? That is 2 times 5a. Okay? Over a plus 1. Ano yung pwede nating i-cancel? Yung a plus 1, magiging 1 na lang siya. And then, yung 5a, makakancel, magiging 1 na lang siya. Then, multiply 2 times a minus 2 over 1 times 1 equals 1. And then, distribute natin yung 2 dito sa loob ng parenthesis. 2 times a is equal to 2a. 2 times negative 2 equals negative 4. Divided by 1 equals... 2a minus 4. So, the final answer is 2a minus 4. Next, number 4. We have 6 over 32x plus 4 divided by 6 over 40x plus 5. Ano ulit yung basic rule natin sa division of fraction? So, kopyahin lang natin ito, 6 over 32x and get the reciprocal of the dividend. So, magiging 40 x plus 5 over 6. Okay? So, babalik ta rin natin. And then, ang magiging operation na is multiplication na. So, ito yung rule ng division of rational algebraic expression. Now, kagaya lang din sa multiplication natin kanina, pwede nating i-factor yung mga given. So, this is 3x plus 32x plus 4. Mag-isip kayo ng factor ni 32x plus 4. Factor natin by GCF, ano yung pwede nating i-factor out? That is 4. So, ilalabas natin si 4 and then ang matitira na lang is 8x plus 1. Kasi 32x divided by 4 equals 8x. Positive 4 divided by 4 equals positive 1. Ito yung factoring by GCF. Next, pwede din nating i-factor yung 40x plus 5. Paano? Ano ang GCF ng 40x at positive 5? That is 5. Kaya ilalabas natin si 5. And then, 40x divided by 5 equals 8x. Then, 5 divided by 5 equals positive 1. So, magiging ganyan na siya. Next, meron bang makakancel? So, makakancel yung 6. Magiging 1 na lang siya. 
and then 8x plus 1 makakancel din magiging 1. So, ang natira na lang is 1 times 5 equals 5, then 4 times 1 equals 4. The final answer is 5 over 4. Okay? So, yun lamang sana nakatulong ito sa inyo. Abangan ninyo yung learning test number 3 sa susunod na video. Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please don't forget to like at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aaral lang mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!